In this video, I'm going to go over a couple of things regarding Azio Link Pro, as well as routing from your DAW into other platforms such as Discord or Streamlabs or OBS Studio. For the basis of this video, I decided to use Reaper as an example of routing because it was relatively easy to configure and set up. If you watched my overview video on this application, then this should be familiar. Regardless, let's move on. This input strips based on how many inputs you have on your interface. For me, I'm using an 18i20, so I have eight inputs, but I also have loopbacks. So for the safety of things, I wanted to have at least four more inputs just in case. Now you're gonna to wanna to keep note of this because whatever input you're using for a microphone or a guitar or whatever, you're gonna to wanna to correlate that with the input shown here in this strip. And I'll make an example of that in a little bit. This next set of inputs is crucial for getting the signal from your interface into your DAW of choice. On my end here, I have a microphone going in on input one and a guitar going in on input four. So what I would do with that is send ASIO driver in one and four into ASIO host in mix one and four. This ensures that the signal that's going into my interface is also going into the DAW through this platform, which allows me to be able to hook up those to a couple of different channels. And if I wanna add effects or if I wanna reamp something, I have the ability to do so without any issue. So with that, ASIO driver out mix is your stereo or multiple output stage. One and two is commonly your stereo output from your DAW or is the way that you would normally hear something from YouTube or Twitch or whatever when you're browsing. Three through 12 in this instance are just extra outputs that I would need if I'm gonna send something out separately or if I don't wanna have it directly monitored in Streamlabs or Discord or whatever. So these outputs are where you would typically hook things into for if you want to send it out. But at the same time, it's a monitoring stage as well. So you're able to hear what you're outputting and being able to send that through whatever other submixes as necessary. ASIO VAD Pro Mix Out is your official stage for sending your signal from inside of Reaper or Cubase or whatever into another application such as Streamlabs OBS, OBS Studio, and Discord and all that stuff. In this picture, highlighted is mix output number two. So if I'm routing Reaper into Discord, the audio would go into this specific port here as highlighted, and I would change my input settings on Discord to mix zero two. That would allow for the signal that's going on in Reaper to transmit from Reaper into Discord. So anybody that's in a voice chat would be able to hear exactly what's going on. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit there. And as a final thing to offer, this is a screenshot of my instance of ASIO Link Pro when dealing with Reaper. Earlier in the video, I mentioned I'm using my microphone on input one and my guitar on input four. So visually, this is represented here. When dealing with the signal playing back, however, you would be seeing uh, the same green meters showing up in driver out mix. And both of those are routed out to mix one. So mix one, if I switch my Discord over to mix one in this specific instance, whatever's going on at that time in Reaper will transmit over Discord voice chat. So if you can take some of these pictures and understand what is going on with everything and understand this explanation, this should help you out in virtual routing between your DAW and Discord or any other application that you use for streaming purposes. And hopefully, just a little bit more of that helps you out in your adventure for virtual audio routing in Windows. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them below in comments, and I will do my best to make a follow-up video based on some of that extra feedback. And in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll see you again here soon.